Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, bam! Here we have the Galaxy S9 Blue once again. This phone is still running One UI 6.1. But I replaced the display so it's no longer shadow. I also replaced the bag because when they replaced the display, they heat it up and the color are discolorating. And they somehow damaged my fingerprint sensor. And when I asked them, they say, oh, it's not our fault. Great, thank you guys. And in this video, we're gonna do a little magic trick again once again on this S9 which is downgrading this phone from its latest operating system thanks to Noble ROM 4.3 Calabria or at One UI 6.1.1 to Android 8 my friends to Android 8 Samsung Experience 9.5 I think a huge step backward yes <laughs> a huge step backward for this phone all right to do this we need the device to have to work which uh, if you guys don't know how to install Twerp, you can go to my One UI 6.1 install video where I show you guys how to install Twerp and then you guys can go back to here and uh, yeah, I will show you guys how to do this right now Alright guys, so here we are at our Windows computer once again like I said in the two previous videos, there is no tools as of right now for the Mac users for the Linux users I am so sorry my man that is only for Windows, alright? So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up our web browser here and we're gonna go to this website here. Look at all those bubbles, man. Samfw.com, alright? This, this is where we're gonna get our uh, Android 8 uh, firmware, alright? So, G960F, and let's scroll down here until until we find our uh, CSC code. So, find with, uh, which one is your region here. Mine is Indonesia. Click this one. And we're just gonna go here, filter OS, and go to this one. The oldest one, man. Oreo Android 8.0. As you can see here, we got all the Android 8 files on my CSC region here. What we're gonna do here is gonna download this one here. See there, Android 8. Go ahead and download it, which one that you want. Fast download speed, not limited. Now, here comes the important things, guys. Say we need a vendor, a patch vendor, or a different vendor, all right? Then the Android 10 latest build, all right? I haven't found any for the, the S9 Plus, the Note 9. This is what I found here. So here are the vendor files that I found for the 930F and the FM, thanks to Tinder 40X. So thank you, thank you, Mr. Pook, the no man. So, um, I think this um, custom vendor might be able to work on the S9 Plus and the Note 9. You will see later why in the video. But for now, we need this vendor file in order to boot our Oreo ROM. And of course, of course, of course, we're gonna need the tools to create the ROM. And it is none other than Classy Kitchen by Andrew DF. Alright, so thank you, thank you, Andrew DF, for creating the Classy Kitchen. The beautiful amazing software that we use to create all these rooms my man all right so scroll down here scroll down scroll down scroll down where is the download link go there click there latest free version all right here it is so you can see here if we would extract it we got all these four files so you can click on this one though classykitchen.exe all right here it is classy kitchen beautiful beautiful kitchen my man all right so we're gonna click on this one here create new project and then click, click on this one browse pc and then just go to your extracted ROM here that you can download it from this sub FW. Control A, make sure there's everything selected. Hit open and name it S9 Oreo. There we go. Right. Project creation finished successfully here. And I'll click on this arrow here to click, click. And then I'll click on this one here ROM utilities. And I'm going to start making this beautiful S9 8.0 ROM. All right. So, number uno, man. We'll click on this one here, disable RMM state. You'll click on that one. All right. And then we'll click on this one though, Diodex ROM. Gonna hit on ES. We finished Diodexing the ROM. Now, usually in the S7 Edge and the S8 video, this is what I click here, Debloat ROM. Now, some people would like to keep the all the bloatware apps. I mean, I understand. So the phone looks like really from 2018. I respect that. So in this video, we're not gonna debloat the ROM. But if you guys want to debloat the ROM, you guys can click that, right? We're gonna skip debloating the ROM here. We'll click on this one here, disable CSC ODM packs, all right. And now we'll click on the most important thing here, the Nox ROM. All right, Nox is removed. Click on this one now, add remove build prop tweaks. We'll add the build prompt tweaks. And we'll add BusyBox also, all right. Now we'll click on this one, kernel utilities. And we'll click on this one, remove DM Verity force inscription. All right, done. Now we'll click on this one, patch put MG to support Diodex Oreo because we are uh, using Oreo ROMs here, 
we're gonna OK. All right, now click on this one, Meta INF Utilities, and I'm gonna click on this one, Rebuild Meta INF Installer. All right, what you wanna do, set remove, rename, just put the name, there we go. Wheels are done, my friends. So we're gonna go to this one, Project Utilities, and I'm gonna click on this one to build the ROM here, to finish the ROM, build system.new.rom for recovery. Click on that. You guys probably have to ask for the name of the ROM, just name it whatever you want. So just wait for the ROM to cook up, alright man? Ding ding ding! The ROM is ready man, you can see the project build finished successfully. So we're gonna plug in the phone to the computer. I advise you guys to have an SD card on your phone as well, alright? So the ROM is gonna be here in our output folder here, as you can see here, this is my ROM. 2.3 GB because we didn't debloat it, alright? So we're gonna click on copy. And I'm gonna copy it to the phone's SD card, all right? All right, so the ROM is copied here to my SD card. Now, I'm gonna copy this one, the zip file that we just downloaded, all right? The vendor zip file, copy that to the SD card as well. Okay, so uh, we have to install Twerp, which again, I will link you guys in the iCard right there on my One UI 6.1.1 install. Basically, just install Twerp, and you guys should go back to your Android 10 if you guys from stock, all right? So, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and turn off the phone here. Let's go ahead and power off the phone. Power off, power off. Now we're gonna press on power, volume up, and the big speed button together at the same time. So power, volume up, and the big speed button together at the same time. Galaxy S9 and bam, twerp 3.7.0. So now we're gonna wipe the entire phone here. So we're gonna wipe format data and type in YES YES okay mark if you guys don't have an SD card you can wipe this right here all right hit reboot recovery and once your phone reboot back to twerp you guys can plug in your phone to your computer and copy it there to your internal storage if you guys don't have an SD card right okay now we're we'll gonna go to your install all right if you guys copy it to your internal distributor right there once you finish wiping it now which is our SD card here, scroll down and you can see here we have the vendor and our S9 ROM. So the first thing that we're gonna flash is the vendor because we need a vendor for the S9 audio ROM to boot. All right, so we're gonna flash the vendor here, swap to confirm flash. So we've installed the vendor, now we're gonna install the ROM. The main thing here, let's go ahead and confirm flash. Okay, as you can see there, we are now installing the ROM. Now, I want to talk to you guys about this text here. Vendor image for Exynos 9810. I think this might be able to work for the S9 Plus or the Note 9. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if any of you guys want to try it out, or I want to try it out, here vendor image for, for this, this vendor image, if you guys want to try it out on your S9 Plus or Note 9, let me know in the comments down below and tell me is it working or not because it doesn't say specifically, I thought, you know, in the beginning here, it's specifically for the 9810 for the S9, but it says here all for only 9810, so it might be working, might be again here for the S9 Plus or the Note 9. Building the ROM is gonna be the same way, like on the, what I show you guys in the video here, but this vendor image, guys, let me know if it works on the S9 Plus and the Note 9, all right? Flashing is done, script succeeded, let's click on wipe cache and Delphic. And let's see here, will our phone boots in 3, 2, 1. Alright, we got the S9 logo here. Oh, will it boots to end with egg, my man? Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, the boot animation is a little bit fast. A little bit fast, but looks like we are booting, my man. Mimuli Android, there we go, let's go. My install application. There you go, hi. Hi, hi, hello, Mimuli. Okay, okay, okay. Look at that, guys, oh my God. <laughs> oh, man. Seeing the Samsung Experience setup on an S9, man. Oh, it's gonna be amazing, guys. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, we are so back. We are so back here. All right, so, so, so English US. Okay. Oh my Lord, look at that. Wi-Fi works. I think my SIM card just works. And I think this is it, guys. Finish. And all done. Your phone is ready to use. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't bless my number, Samsung. All right, calm down. Look at that. Oh man, this thing amazing, man. Oh, this is so amazing, look at that. 
my signal is working, the phone is hot, and do we get all the bloatwares? Yeah, we did! Look at that! We got the Microsoft apps, we got the Google app, the Shut Up man, the Samsung apps, the Facebook, the, the, the everything man. Let's go to settings. Oh, this uh, navigation buttons, man. It just bring back memory, man. It just bring back so good memories. Software info, look at that. Android 8, my man. Android 8, Samsung Experience 9, I thought it was 9.5. Oh, so they're screaming to us. Thank you, Samsung. We successfully downloaded this. Why is the is the back panel? Oh, it is. Wow, I just realized this too. My back uh, panel is opening up, guys. The glue isn't sticking enough. Look at that. So I press it down. You see there? It is lift. Oh, that's not good, man. All right, so you can see this default lock screen on the S9. Watch when I turn it off and goes to the always on display. Look, let me turn this off again. You see that? Look at that, there's, got, there's like a little star flying around it, man. This is so cool, man. They don't have this, yo. They don't have this effect on the uh, Note 9. They only have it for the S8, S8 Plus, S9, and S9 Plus. They only have it for the Note 9, man. Look at that. Ah, oh, this is so nice, man. We are so back. Oh, the, the speed on this phone is already amazing, man. Look at that. Pop, 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 pop. Is there a camera here? We got the, the, that, we got the old user interface. I think we did. Oh, look at that. Man, this is bringing so many memory. This is, I can't even speak, man. <laughs> this is bringing so many memories. You see, vibration works. Unlike the S7, the vibration doesn't work. The S8, S9 does work. I want to try something scary, guys. I want to try the fingerprint sensor here, and I'm going to try the iris scanner here. All right, iris scanner works. All right, let's try this on the fingerprint now. Oh, oh, look at that amazing! Ah, that animation, yo, it's just so, so nice. Look at that. It pops up with the stars. Then you put your fingerprint there and just fade out like that. Oh, so yeah, guys, there we go. We successfully downgraded this thing from One UI 6.1.1. To Android 9, even though it cost the glue of my back cover to lift off, I have to re-glue it again, it's worth it, y'all. Alright, so I have a news for you guys, for those of you guys who are still sticking to watch the video till the second. Um, this is probably gonna be the last video that I record in here, guys. So let me put this you guys a little bit wide here. This is where I've been recording, right? Just uh, uh, a glass desk, alright? <laughs> or with this wall view i've been recording like this since i think 2016 y'all and this video is the last video where i'm gonna be recording like this so the next video that you guys are gonna be watching i'm gonna be a whole different video setup i think <laughs> i think all right but yeah 2016 so it's been like eight years i've been recording a video in this room in with this pov and it's breaking me right now to 7.12k subscribers, man. With one, one, one video. Why? Wow, I haven't noticed that. Just with this view alone. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you, guys. And like I said, it's gonna be the last video that I'm recording here. All right. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video with a new view. Peace.